Welcome to the Sign Writing Stream, where we show, teach, and demo all about Sutton Sign Writing. This episode, Sign Writing 2020 and Additional Handshapes. If you'd like to participate in our open chat on Gitter, go ahead and join the Sign Writing community. On that, uh, if you go there, you can find all the websites that we are going to cover in this episode. We are talking about the symbol set for sign writing, which right now our current symbol set is the International Sign Writing Alphabet 2010. You can go ahead and read about the history. The background starts back way back in 1986 with the Apple IIe and the Apple IIc. The first symbol set was small and limited because of only 128 kilobyte memory. Additional symbol sets happened in 95, 99, 2002, 2004, 2008, and 2010. Let's go to movementwriting.org. If you scroll down, you will find Symbol Bank, number 11. Right here, we have the downloads for all of the past symbol sets, past and current. And let's talk about the IMWA 2004. This was a really nice symbol set that we put together. And this is actually where I first became involved. Let's take a look at the downloads. When I first got involved, there was a directory of thousands and tens of thousands of little ping images. And each of those was a symbol that had Valerie had created. The simple idea was you take all the symbols that Valerie created and you put them together into two dimensional arrangements. Well, let's take a look at SignMaker. SignBank.org slash SignMaker.html and we can go ahead and scroll down. Find your language of choice. I'll open up ASL, the uh, US Dictionary. Over here in the blue section, this is the ISWA 2010. And you can find all of the symbols, all of the rotations and the fills and the mirrors. So this, or the, these are the symbols that Valerie created. Now when we make signs, what we do is take those individual symbols and we make free-form two-dimensional arrangements. The exact position of this handshape is up to the writer because the writer knows how the sign should look. And for all these pages in the dictionaries, we can go ahead and scroll through these pages. And these are all the signs that people have made. And all they are, two-dimensional arrangement of Valerie symbols. Now, Sign Writing 2020, it's an international call to action to create, organize, fund, and standardize. Let's take a look at the work project specifically. The one that we're going to talk about today is additional handshapes. We already have 251 different handshapes. Each one's explicitly named and numbered, but the list is not exhaustive. I thought that we would possibly need additional handshapes. I don't know exactly what they are. That's why you are involved. What handshapes do we still need? Well, somebody took me seriously. If you go to signwriting.org, you can go ahead and scroll down. You will find this document right here, Libra's Handshapes Presentation. It's a PDF with new handshapes for Brazilian sign language. If you open it up, it is a beautiful document. We have all of the authors listed. They have a bunch of background information. Um, it's 57 pages total. If we skip down to the pages, we can see just beautiful, beautiful sign text written here. If we keep scrolling down, we can actually start seeing here are the hand shapes that they say they need that they do not have and they give example signs of what those signs would look like that they would use them in. All right, let's go to Sutton Sign Writing on GitHub, and we're going to explore the symbols. So here are all of the hand shapes that we have in the ISWA 2010. It goes down to right here where we get to the contact. Now, if we want to add hand shapes, there are two options. The first option, and the best one in some circumstances, would be to actually add the hand shapes here at the end of the ISWA, where we would have the hand shape addendum. We have up to 31 possible spaces where we could add new hand shapes. The issue comes with this is that this complicates the model, and it would not be available in SignPuddle 2 right away. 
would require some updates. The other option is right here we have 251 different hand shapes. These hand shapes are ones that Val found that people needed. Those are their hand shapes that uh, people requested. And there's also other hand shapes where Val just added different options. Now it is possible that there are 12 different hand shapes in here that might not be used or that we might not need. So the simple idea is to create the ISWA 2020, which is a drop-in replacement for the ISWA 2010, except we would take out 12 hand shapes that aren't being used and we would add 12 new hand shapes that are used. So those are the options I'm thinking about right now. Uh, we are going to watch and proceed as the review happens for the Brazilian hand shapes. Once they come up to, once they come up with a final list, we'll have to decide is it closer to 12 or closer to 31, and then we'll have to decide. If we do the 12 replacements, we could have that in sign puddle to this year. If we needed 31 hand shapes and we needed to put them at the end here as an addendum, it would take longer to get into sign puddle too. So that's what we're dealing with right now. I thought you guys might find that interesting. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and comment on the YouTube video or join us on Gitter or go to Facebook, the Sutton Sign Writing Group, or we have the Sutton Sign Writing email list. I'd love to hear your comments and questions. And if you knew of any hand shapes that you need as well, now is the time to get them in. So I uh, enjoyed talking with you. I hope you found this interesting. See you next week.